unfortunately, the government has ignored all the work that was done in the last parliament and is now proposing to review our review effectively, which I think is a great shame. Uh, the Minister, Stephen Jones, is proposing an inquiry when I think he could have been putting a draft bill on the table. My main concern here is that we are in a race as a country to protect our consumers, but also, also to attract capital into this digital asset space. And the longer this drags out, the worse it is for consumers and for the country. Well, you know, governments are famous for reviewing the review of the review of the review. Um, so in some ways, there's no great innovation on this front. But I thought Treasury had done a whole bunch of work. The consultation was underway. Most of it was due to be done and wrapped by now. So why are we going back and sort of starting this whole thing around the mapping idea, which, as you point out in your comments, which are on the startupdaily.net story, you can do this and other things at the same time. We don't need to choose between having a mapping exercise and proceeding to draft legislation to regulate cryptocurrency. Um, before the election, we released a paper to the Treasury Department, which canvassed how crypto markets could be licensed, how custody systems could work, capital requirements, key personnel tests, auditing and the like. So Stephen Jones should be delivering a response to that consultation and putting a draft bill on the table as we speak. In the US, they're already making a lot of headway with their US Congress having recently considered a draft bill uh, themselves. So uh, this is a real race that we're going to lose if Labor's approach is going to continue in this way. Well, the interesting thing about Labor was they sort of basically accused the former government of dabbling, was the, I think the term they used, and of course then rushing headlong into this without thinking it through. I thought the Senate Select Committee was a bipartisan committee and the report that you co-authored was one that was backed by Labor. So why is there this different view now? Well, Labor had very few policies before the election. And I think one of the consequences of coming in with a very threadbare agenda is that they haven't really thought about what they want to achieve other than work through a list of the requests from the vested interests in the superannuation and finance sectors. Uh, so I'm disappointed. I mean, I'm not someone that wants to over-politicise this, but you have to say that now in my new role in opposition, that this is a real failure by the government. And I think the failure stems from their lack of policy detail that they put out before the election. So uh, they may want to accuse the former government of dabbling, but I mean, the reality is that no one really knows the best way to regulate cryptocurrency. It's such a dynamic space. Uh, when you talk to other jurisdictions like Australia's, whether it's the US or the UK or Singapore or uh, the UAE, everyone is trying new things. So dabbling, I think, actually is a good thing. The, the fact is that the new government is not dabbling in anything. They're just hitting the ground reviewing. I think uh, the laws are good government, uh, current government, good dabbling, former government, bad dabbling seems to be the argument <laughs> at this point in time. Look, yesterday on the show, we spoke to Dr. Dimitrios Salampasis, the director of FinTech yeah. at Swinburne. He was talking about, look, there are good, good things to come out of this. But of course, what he talks about is getting everything together on the one page so that we do think globally, so that where we somehow bring together all the regulatory authorities so there isn't this disconnect between what's happening here and what's happening over there. We see it all the time. You've made comments about it in other financial spaces. Um, the Treasury consultation paper that was out in March 2022 talked about regulating according to risk. So isn't that a reasonable roadmap in the first place from Treasury for us to start this regulation process? Well, uh, but the fact is that the work has already been done. I mean, you can look at this uh, through the prism of uh, you want to have a better system of regulation, but uh, the reality is that the Treasury Department is responsible for doing this work. The powers vested in the Treasurer and the Minister for Financial Services are significant enough that they can do a lot of this via regulation once you pass a law. Uh, and I don't see it as a job for the agencies and the regulators to be making policy. We want that to be done in Canberra. Uh, unfortunately, we have a government that is afraid to make any judgments about these issues unless they are, are drafted by their friends 
at the Super Funds or the unions. I mean, the only thing that Stephen Jones has done since he's been in office has been to uh, seek to repeal transparency measures that we put in place so that you can see where political donations are made from super funds. So I, I, I don't see that there be, uh, I don't think, there's no problem with regulatory coordination, Simon. The problem is we now have a government that is unprepared to make a decision when they should have been prepared to put some policies out before the election and certainly uh, agree with the ones that were reasonable after the election, rather than saying that the last government's policies uh, were dabbling. Well, um, the, the the market in general has welcomed the government announcing something, uh, but it reads very much like the fact that they welcomed similar things 12 months ago. So I'm just wondering, uh, in the Senate, can you jump up, wave the report around without sort of being breach of parliamentary rules and just see if they can get back to the drawing board and focus on the 12 recommendations that the Senate Select Committee put together? I'm considering all my options to keep the government under pressure in a good way, because I think we it's in everyone's interest that the government is successful in prosecuting a policy agenda in this space, because we need to have more policy here to protect our people, but also to attract capital. Uh, and I will be looking at all the measures that are available to me to do that, including consideration of draft legislation, uh, because we need to ensure that our country doesn't fall behind. And uh, the reality is that we're now looking at extensive delays on policies which are needed now.